I'm going to jump right in here. Thank you, Alicia, for asking about making a big, bold move to another country. Yes, I can definitely talk to you about that. Um, really appreciate the um, question because it's near and dear to my heart. All right, so let's start. Uh, Alicia asks, she's single and 30. Is it too late to make a bold move and a life change? No, it's not. This is the perfect time. Um, I think one of the problems that people uh, give themselves is falling into an age issue and saying, oh, I'm too old to learn that language. I'm too old to go to that country. I'm this, I'm that. Um, my work, my boyfriend, it's just an excuse. So listen, being single and 30, wow, great. Do it. Um, you know, the more people that have to weigh in on your decision is uh, making it you know, like a lot of people say, oh, well, my husband doesn't like to travel, blah, blah, blah. Well, then do it yourself. Um, anyway, come here, little guy. Come here, Samson. Say hello. <laughs> um, just a little cutaway there. So the boldness, yes. I didn't start world traveling until I was age four. 50 and I wish I had started sooner but I heard a lot of people tell me oh I went there 30 years ago it's like you went there when you were 25 well I just went there this year um, why did you stop traveling like there's such a myth that it's like oh you can only do that in your 20s why because you can't pick up a piece of luggage that you can pay somebody to pick up um, it's just excuses. Um, so you're at a really special time now. We're 30 and single. And the beautiful thing about being single is the freedom to make your own choices and go where you want to and change your life really in a bold way. So take advantage. Um, you know, people stop ourselves all the time with a lot of excuses, so don't do that. Um, and, you know, after I'd started traveling at age 50, uh, let's see, it was only three or four years later that I sold all my belongings and did not have a comeback date. <laughs> One of the best things I ever did. Okay, so moving to another country, do your research. There's a lot of countries that are pretty easy to move to. Um, Thailand, Bali, well, you have to leave every couple of months unless you get a four-month cultural visa. But um, not so hard to do because it's pretty low cost of living and you can just flit over to Singapore and come right back. That could be done in about four hours. So um, there's a lot of countries where it's low cost and you can make a living, especially if you're working online. So. Um, I think the main thing is the guts, courage takes practice, and uh, doing your research, deciding where you'd like to go. Cambodia is a wonderful country. Um, Otris Beach is a wonderful place that I spent a month at uh, with uh, my son, Walt. That was so much fun. Uh, let's see, a year and a half ago loved it oh my gosh and I had gone by myself he had gone by his self separate times and then we went together so that was really fun um, you have to really try a place out to see if it could work for you full-time um, and you might not want to stay there full-time because of the visa situation you can stay there you can get a six months visa at Cambodia in Cambodia and I'll put the link below on my YouTube channel um, how to move to Cambodia because I did a video on that when I was in Asia. So there's a lot to consider, but as to your question, can you make a bold life change? No, it's never too late. I don't care if you're 75, if you want to um, live somewhere else and have a completely different life, you can. 
Um, there's a lot of options in the world that are open to us. Um, and as I've said before, laziness is, uh, is what really you get down to when you don't do something that you want to do, but you come up with a lot of excuses as to why. Like, how much time do you spend watching TV? How much time do you spend on social media? I mean, sincerely, if you cut a lot of things out of your life, <laughs> um, you find the time. Um, y y it, you just do. And I've done the same thing. I, I used to um, go out a lot um, here in Palo Alto and I don't anymore. I'm working on my projects and you know I'd really rather do that. I do go out sometimes but I'm so excited about what I'm doing that I'm writing or making videos or uh, communicating. Um, you know, I, I'm an extrovert and an introvert. I like getting out and going to other countries, but w lately how I've been feeling is um, I love teaching, and so I get a lot of uh, social time doing that, and then of course I love traveling. So please uh, ask any questions that I didn't cover. Alicia, thanks for your question, and for everyone else, and including you of course, Thanks for your questions, for coming on over here. Um, it's just, I, it's, I come here every day on my YouTube channel, so ch uh, subscribe, do that little bell thing that lets you know my latest video. I do two or three per week, so I'll see you in the next video. Have a beautiful day.